Hello everybody, my name is Max Bombel. I'm Java architect and Java trainer. I'm going to show you how to create RESTful web services from scratch using NetBeans IDE and Glashfish server. Ok, let's go. Just right click and select new project. Select Java web and web application. Click next. Enter the name of your application. Auction app. And select the project location. Click next. Be sure Glashfish server and Java AAX are selected and click finish great as you can see NetBeans fed our application we can test it right now if an a simple hello world GSP page just right click and select run great is working now we are going to add some entity entity classes in our application. Just go back to the project in NetBeans. Before to add entity, we need some data source. Just create a database for the data source of our application. Right click on Java DB create new database example my auction db my auction app db the user username auction the password auction why not Okay, and click OK. Great. As you can see, NetBeans generated a new database called My Auction App DB and also a string connection for this database. Just to test it, right click, click Connect. Great. Now we have a data source with a valid connection. We can go back to the project to add an entity. Just right click new and select entity class. Okay, just enter the name of your entity. Seller, for example. And select the package for your entity. You can enter the name of package, example, com.bomber.oracle.auction app. Click next. And now we, we need to select the persistence provider and I am um, I think Eclipse Link Eclipse Link is a good a good provider and also we need to to select the data source for our entity. Now we are going to create a data source example my auction my auction app data source and select the, li the link the, the string connection of my auction apps db 
and click OK. Right, just click finish. Right. As you can as you can see, NetBean generated a seller entity and code for the entity. Now we are going to add some properties like the first name, last name, and also the email for our seller. To do that, just right click anywhere in the code and insert code. Select add property. And enter the name of property. Example, first name. Be sure to select generate getter and setter. Click OK. The first name property was generated with getter and setter methods. We are going to add the last name. Okay, the last name was generated with getter and setter. Okay. Just to do the same thing. Add email. Okay. Right. The email was generated. Now we have three properties the ID, the first name, the last name, and the email. Okay. That is great. Now we are going to add some RESTful Web Services capacity for the seller. Just right click on the project and select new and select RESTful Web Services from entity classes. Select your entity. Click next. We need to specify two package. The first one for the resources and for the converter. For the resource, just select resource. Convector NetBean will we generate it, will generate the converter and resource file. Just click finish. You can select the default choice. Okay. Okay, as you can see, NetBeans added new two package for the converter and for the resource to see the seller resources class. Method was generated with a capability to return the X XML format and JSON format to the client. This means this class can return the representation of seller in XML or JSON format. We can test it right now. Just right click on the application and click run. We just need to specify the URN resource slash great now if you can see this it means your web services is working great we are going back to netbeans and 
UI some client and uh, I mean GSP GSP or GSF client to consume the web services we have we are created to do that just cl right click on the project click new and select GSF pages from entity classes click add and next we need to specify two packages the first one for this session bin package example fast add and another one for the GSF class class package like auction example presentation we need also to specify the folder for our user interface why not UI for example and click next be sure to select the, G the GSF library the default choice is good, it's pretty good click finish Right. As you can see, NetBeans generated the seller UI. We can just test our user interface. Right click on the application and click run. Great. Now we can add some sellers in the database. And create seller example max at max.com the last name Bombell the first name max ID one save the second one is Chris Bell at press bell dot r the last name of Chris Bell is Malonga the first name Chris Bell ID two the last one Rossi Rossi at Rossi dot com the last name of Rossi is Ode the first name Rossi and three save click show all seller items okay now we are seeing GSP, GSF representation of the seller but we need to see the XML representation of the seller for that we will invoke the web services we created to invoke the web services just click OK right now we can see all the seller we created just add the ID one to invoke the first seller max in oh NetBeans can help to quickly develop a Java EE application that features RESTful web services as well as an interface based on GSF.